Welcome to Fiji Dr. Neet Academy. I'm going to solve uh, seven problems in chemical kinetic chapter. Now let us see the first question in the chapter. See, this is the first question for the reaction N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH3. You know that the rate of reaction is given. So for ammonia is given, the value is uh, 2 into 10 power minus 4 mole per liter per second. The value of, you know, rate of rate of H2 they are asking. Okay, so ammonia is given, they are asking only H2. Okay, for any chemical reaction is given, we can write the rate of reaction, isn't it? Suppose here, how write rate of reaction means here, uh, for each and every one, we should write every every species we should write. So here, reactant always we put minus product always we put plus side, plus sign. So here, out rate rate of reaction means um, rate is equal to you know that. So here, for writing this one, no minus minus here coefficient is one one only is this. Need not put anything. So minus d by dt concentration of N two. Understood? It is equal to here coefficient is three is there. So again minus divided by its coefficient. So minus 1 by 3 d by dt concentration of you know h2 but or not so left hand side you put minus right hand side you put, we put plus which is equal to okay so concentration you know uh, here 2 is there 2 means here divided by its coefficient but you put one plus symbol 1 by 2 d by dt concentration of okay ammonia so ns3 understood right so any reaction is given we can write the rate for this is the way to write rate. Understood? Okay. Left hand side minus right hand side positive symbol. Okay. Now they are given what? What they are given means? They are given ammonia. So this ammonia is given. No. Ammonia NS3. Okay. Ammonia is given. Okay. Then they are asking what? For only hydrogen. They are asking hydrogen. Okay. You just compare. These two only you just, just compare. Don't compare. Okay. No need to uh, worry about this nitrogen. Okay. Just compare the two substances only. Hydrogen and ammonia. Okay. Understood? Okay. So here you substitute the value. You know. You know, uh, rate of ammonia is given. So, what's the value here? In this place, we can substitute what? In this place, we can substitute 1 by 2, okay, into 1 by 2 into what? 2 into 10 power minus 4, okay. 2 into 10 power minus 4, understood, okay. Now, then here, see the left hand side? No, 1 by 3 is there, no. So, minus 1 by 3 d by dt, d by dt, concentration of what? H2, understood, right, okay. They are asking only d by dt concentration of H2 only, okay. Now, the 3 is there, no. This 3 we just cross multiplication. If it goes to that side, means what? Now it becomes what? What? This becomes minus d by dt. Okay, concentration of H2, which is equal to okay. When it goes to that side, you know, it goes to. You should write in numerator. No. Okay. Now you know that this only you know. Suppose here these two two get cancelled. Okay. Now then three. This goes to numerator means it will be what? Three into okay. Three into ten power. Okay. Minus four. Okay. This minus four. Understood. Three into ten power minus four. Understood. Don't uh, just compare the two reactant only. Okay, say so, uh, three is there means you just cross multiplication. So this two would get cancelled when this three goes to numerator means it becomes what? Three to ten power minus four. So answer is what? Three to ten power minus four mole per liter per second. So answer D is the correct one. Understood? Right. Next one. Very simple. For a reaction, they are given the two reactant A and B. Okay. So the order with respect to A is two, then order with respect to B is three. Okay. So you know that any reaction you can write. So suppose you have two reactant, no. So then I put what A plus B gives. A B. Okay. So out rate rate law R is equal to K into concentration of A. The power is given, no? A A power is, you know, order is you know 2. So B is what? 3 is given. Okay. Okay. Then the concentration of both A and B are double. So both you put twice time. Okay. What will be the rate of reaction they are asking? Okay. So if it is if it is double means what here? K into 2 power 2 A. Understood. They are asking to put double no 2 A. Then square again 2 B the whole cube understood then the two square when it comes outside it becomes no no what, what is that you no know, four then two cube no when it come comes outside it becomes what two cube you know k remaining you can write as it is so k into concentration of a power two into concentration of b power three understood remaining you just write, write as it is now what which changes you just compare here what four in you know four in the area you know, 32 understood remaining write as it is k into Concentration of A power, A power 2 into concentration of B power 3. Understood? See, so just you just compare which change is taking place here. See that? See that? Same as it is. It also same as it is. Who is the which one is different here? 32. So when these two two reactants are double, the rate will be 32 times increases. So 32 means what? C is the correct one. Understood? It's very simple problem. Next one. If the rate of the reaction is equal to rate constant, the order of the reaction is dash. Okay. This uh, simply. You know, suppose here a, a a plus b gives generally I'm writing for rate out rate r is equal to k into understood right okay they're asking when the rate of reaction becomes rate constant they're asking 
okay when r is equal to k this this will be what unity understood this will be unity means what its power should be what its power should be zero there don't need to be unity understood so the order is what are you following when r is equal to k means its power should be zero then only it will uh, then only r is equal to k then only order is what this answer understood a is the answer you following right it's a zero order reaction understood it's a zero order reaction okay right next one fourth one the half-life period of first order reaction is given uh, the specific rate specific rate constant they are asking simple the first order reaction you know that formula what's the first order reaction half-life period you know uh, half-life period for first order reaction is what t of is equal to 0 0.693 by okay k okay they are given after period is given okay just rearrange the formula therefore what k is equal to 0 0.693 by t of okay you just substitute see so 0 0.693 by okay 693 by you know 1386 so we have to divide so we divide means we can get one value the value will be what so, <coughs> so just divide that's all so you can get the value will be k is equal to will be like this so 0 point it comes like this i know that i don't know i'm writing so, okay, this value will be coming. So we can write what? This will be what? 5 to 10 power, or we can write in other way 5 to 10 power minus 4. Also, right. This answer, but no 10 power minus 4 is there. 10 power minus 3 only is there. Okay. Okay. So 10 power minus 3 means what? Or we can write what? We can write the same thing. We can write 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 3. Understood? So I answer D is the correct one. Are you following? The formula, if you remember the formula, you can be able to solve this some easily. Next one, fifth one. The unit of rate constant for a zero order reaction. Okay, so they're asking, you know, general formula. I told you uh, already. Mole one minus one. Understood. Liter liter n minus one per second. This is a general formula to find out the rate constant, unit of rate constant. Okay, so it's a zero order. No, it's a zero order means what? You put n is equal to zero. If you put n is equal to zero, means what? We get what? We get only mole. Cut or not? If you put n is equal to zero, we get what? Liter inverse. Understood? Then as usual, this one per second. Understood? So mole per mole per liter per second. Understood. So mole per liter per second. So option A is the correct one. Understood. Option A is the correct one. Understood. Right. Next one. Okay. Next one is the rate constant of the reaction. Rate constant A gives B is the the K value is given. No rate constant K value is given. Okay. The concentration of A is five molarity. The concentration of B after twenty minutes they are asking. Okay. See. Uh, see the unit. This the which unit? This is called what? This is a unit for rate constant of zero order reaction. So zero order reaction unit okay for zero order reaction here, here you should remember the these things you should remember suppose i consider the you know uh, a concentration of substance during the time interval t which is equal to minus kt plus concentration of the substance when the time is zero this you should remember okay during the time interval t this is called at initial concentration this is called you know rate constant is called you know time okay okay so initial suppose here um suppose you know uh, a gives b okay so initially initially what but at initial con, initial r when the time is zero when the time is zero this is what we are taking five five molarity okay uh, you know this is nothing but when the time is zero when the time is no is given no what's the time after 20 minutes when the time is 20 minutes it will be what we consider it is called five minus x that only goes to right hand side it becomes x okay so here when the time is zero means five molarity you put five here understood plus you know k value is what minus what is k value 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 into 10 power minus 3 understood right okay minus 3 okay into t t is what 20 minutes no okay 20 minutes okay but here second the unit see the unit is a seconds is good is there no so you convert it minutes into seconds so what here put 60 understood plus initial concentration you know it's initial concentration this 5 molarity then i put 5 here okay then concentration after time t 5 minus x you put this 5 minus x Okay, right. Left hand side, you put what? 5 minus x. That's all. You have to find the x value. That's all. Simple. Here, you know, this will be cancelled. You know, this 5, this 5 will be cancelled. Then this minus also will be cancelled. Therefore, what? x is equal to? Therefore, x is equal to what? Just multiply all this. Okay. Uh, if, <coughs> suppose here, is it 10 power minus 3? No. 10 power minus 3. Here, 10 power 2. Okay. So, it will be? So, 10 power minus 1 will be there. Okay. Okay. So, here, 20. I am taking here. Here, 0, here, 0, 10 power 2. Here, 10 power minus 3. Therefore, minus one only is there. Then you know you just multiply. Uh, you know we consider six into six, thirty six, thirty six into two, seventy two. Okay, so seven point two. Cut or not? Seven point two. So here you know, or you can write the same thing. You can write what? Zero point seven two. Cut or not? Molarity. Answer C is the correct one. Understood? C is the correct one. Okay.
So here, if we multiply all this, we can get what? 0 0.72 molarity. So answer C is the correct one. Understood? Right. Okay. Now go to the next one. Last question. Okay. A plus B gives product. It is observed that on doubling the initial constitution of A only, rate of reaction is also doubled. So generally here, um, yeah, first you write, you know, A gives A plus B give. So A plus B gives AB, no? So first you write the rate R is equal to what? R is equal to K into concentration of A, okay, concentration of B. So we don't know the order, no. Then I put X, Z, I put this, I can, I can see Y. Okay. You see the first one? On doubling the initial constitution of A, on doubling, you have to twice the A only, rate will be, also will be double. So rate also double, uh, concentration of A is also double. So here we can write what? 2R, no? So 2R, which is equal to K into, uh, this also 2, 2A power X, okay? Then B power, B power Y, understood? This is the first, this one equation, this is another equation, okay? Right? Now see the next one. On doubling the initial concentration of both, both A and B, we should double. So rate will be what? Rate will be what? A times increases, okay? Now I'm going to frame the third equation. So now rate will be, a times no, then I put what A tar, which is equal to K into concentration of uh, doubling the initial concentration of A, both A and B will be twice no. So you put what 2A, understood? Right. This also 2B. Okay. We don't know the power, then I put X. This is considered as the third equation. Understood. Now if you have to simplify the equation, then only we can get what? This order among this, anyone will be the answer. Understood? Okay. Now you take you take suppose you know uh, you take this two. Uh, I'm I'm dividing, let's try to understand 3 by 2. 3 by 2, this equation by this equation, okay. 3 by 2 means what? You know, R could cancel, 8 by 2, understood. 8 by 2 means what? We have only 4, understood? Okay. K, K could cancel, 2A by X, this also we cancel, no, fully cancel, no, better not. 2A by X, 2A power X, 2A by X, this will be cancel. You want to what? Here also, uh, this by this, understood. So, 2B concentration power Y, then B concentration power Y, understood, right. Then, you know, understood, here, B power X, so b power y, b power y, it will be cancelled. This power is common for both, no? 2 as well as b. So, we can write outright 2 power y. This is outright. This is 2 power y, no? This also we can write what? 2 power 2, no? Cut or not? Therefore, y is equal to what? 2. Are you following? Understood. So, y we found out. y is what? 2. Understood. y nothing, nothing but what? b power 2. b power 2 is what? Both are b power 2. Understood? Both are b power 2. So, anyhow, c will not come, d will not come. Cut or not? Okay? Then, we have to find out the x value. How to find x value means here, just I'm comparing, compare, okay, I'll write it here, you compare, you compare 1 and one and 2, you compare 1 and 2, understood? So here, you just divide um, the, you know, 2 by equation 2 by equation 1, understood? This by this, so only we have 2, cut or not, 2, RR will cancel, K will cancel, here, uh, this will be cancelled, understood? So we have only 2 power A by A, that's power X by what? A power a power x. Understood? Right. Now we understood. A power x cancel, a power x cancel. Here what? Therefore, 2 is equal to what? Sorry. 2 is equal to, therefore, 2 is equal to what? Uh, 2 power x only. Understood? Okay. So, you know, x is equal to what? Here 2 we can write what? Other way. Therefore, x is equal to what? 1 only. Okay. So, so b power 2, a power 1. b power 2, a power 1. Understood? Okay. Here, you put the value here. B power 2, A power 1. So answer, A is the correct one. Are you following? Okay, simple one. Okay, I hope you understood everything. Thank you, students.